Open your eyes and full of chemicals like phthalates that make our cucumber smaller. Open your mind. Are we just gonna ignore the fact that everybody has been sick for more than two months and that at least 50% of people you know have a hacking cuff with mucus and that they use supplements and foods that are supposed to help our brain but here we are suffering from the worst brain fog ever unable to remember any information and are we gonna ignore the fact that we put our phones on blue screen and that we take melatonin at night to improve our sleep yet here we are more tired and more fatigued than ever before or that we are constantly bloated and congested and have acne, yet we eat what they tell us and we use the best skincare routines in the world. Why is it? Why is it that we have the most modern healthcare system in the world, yet we are the sickest we ever been? Because they poisoned us, because they made us full of toxins that they sell us for our convenience and for fake health. And then they tell us that getting rid of toxins is a scam, that detoxifying the body is a scam, the liver does the job, bro, or but this fat doctor tells me that detoxing is a scam. Really? Maybe we should all wake up? Let me explain you what I mean with detoxification and how I detoxify myself and thousands of others successfully. What is detoxification? Eliminating toxins from our body. But what are these toxins? There's quite a lot of different toxins and people get them all mixed up. I will add them in the description down below so you don't need to hack your keyboard right now. Here's a brief overview of the seven most important toxins. The first one is parasites like Yardia. The most common reason we become infested with parasites is eating raw fish. Think of that nice salmon from the sushi man next door, likely infested with parasites. Also, parasites like to hide in fresh fruits and salads that are unwashed. And they can also enter our body when we swim in dirty water. Don't swim in dirty water. Second up, we have viruses like Epstein-Barr. We most often get viruses from other humans by human to human contact. For example, when we are cuddling, kissing, touching. Also, if you have fury friends like cats or dogs, they love to give you their viruses and their parasites. Sorry, cats. Third up, we have bacteria like E. coli and others that are biofilm builders. They like to chronically infect your throat and they can be anywhere on any surface. I don't want to fearmonger you, but they can be anywhere. Also, on any food or any door you touch or any human you want to touch. Bacteria are ubiquitous. Fourth one, we have the environmental toxins like microplastic. Did you know that every single food in the grocery store is packed in plastic? Did you know that this plastic directly touches our food? And then when we eat this food, we ingest these billions of little microplastic pieces and they love to accumulate in our blood and our organs. Fifth up, we have chemical toxins like phthalates and BPA. Plastic is great, don't get me wrong. Using plastic as a human though is terrible. It's full of chemical additives that disrupt the hormones like BPA and BPS and full of chemicals like phthalates to make our cucumber smaller. <laughs> Plastic is everywhere. Just open your kitchen, open your bathroom, open your children's room, open your bedroom. Open your eyes, open your mind. Fun fact, a new study just released proved that every single week, every human on this world eats the equivalent of one credit card in plastic every week. Six up, we have the heavy metals like mercury and lead. You probably know this, but that tuna you ate, it had so much mercury that you feel like you wanna sleep. That rice cake you ate, it has so much arsenic that even the World Health Organization warns you about it already. You just didn't read it. And seventh up, we have the man-made additions like fluoride. Fluoride is a neurotoxic, it's crap. It makes us dumb, it makes our bones brittle. It ruins our spiritual connection to the world. Check out my other video on fluoride. It's in our tap water, it's in our toothpaste, it's in our table salt. Get rid of it. Next up, I also want to give you the solution. How do we detoxify? The first step to healing is to stop accumulating so many poisons. The more toxins you build up, the worse you will feel and the sicker you will get. There's great alternatives for every of the categories I just mentioned. Stop eating raw fish and just cook it. Stop using toxic table salt and use sea salt instead. Check the caption down below. There's a free list of full alternatives for you. The second step besides avoiding the toxins is detoxifying, so getting rid of these toxins out of your body. The toxins are literally everywhere. It's almost impossible to escape them. It's estimated that 30 to 60% of people have an active parasite infection. According to a new study, every week we eat the equivalent of a credit card worth of plastic. And in the morning and the evening, we brush our teeth with the fluoride toothpaste. This is why I do a detox every season change. And this detox has to be done in three steps in a specific way. You cannot just buy a random detox product of the internet and hope that all the different toxins get rid. You need to have a plan. You need to know what you're doing. This detox is done in three specific steps. The first step is killing and inactivating all the toxins. The second step is chelating them, binding them, and then flushing them out of our body. 
And the third step is preventing new toxins to enter our body with smart herbs and with smart supplements. One basic staple I recommend for everyone, no matter in what stage you are, is my basic alkaline detox smoothie. I consume it like a religion, like a cult member every morning. Check out my smoothie video for more information. If you wanna get all of my information and knowledge on detoxing and on healing the body, you can also join my masterclass today. Here, you will get lifelong access to life transforming knowledge in the form of video modules, and you will get a manuscript and my ebook, as well as a whole community of loving and motivating people. Don't wait for something to change. Take it in your own hands and join today. For a limited time, you will also get a free copy of my best selling ebook, The Band Blueprint How to Heal the Body with Food and Herbs. Please let me know in the comments down below what is your experience with detoxing? Have you ever done a detox? How do you feel about detoxing? And if you've done a detox, how do you feel now? Thank you.